All right, guys, today we're gonna be going over uh, the lunge as well as the split squat. So, very similar movements, but uh, we're gonna start off with the split squat first, um, which is also known as the static lunge. So, we're gonna start off in a 90-90 position, and front heel lined up with that knee, knee lined up with the hip, and that trail knee is gonna be directly lined up with that hip as well. So a, a very common mistake that we're gonna see here, okay, is that foot is going to be flat with the top of the foot uh, onto the ground. I actually wanna grip the toes uh, into the ground, pointing that heel up towards the ceiling. So before I even start, I'm gonna think about creating tension, right, pushing this heel into the ground and pulling back, and then this trail foot is gonna be pushing into the ground and also pulling this way, okay? So again, I'm creating tension here keeping my abs tight, radiating tension, squeezing, making a fist, still pulling the floor together as I come up and as I come back down, okay? So a lot of times I'll see repetitions kind of just performed, right, real sloppy, right? People kind of moving all over the place and can't really stabilize and own this position. So starting this 90-90 static position, learn how to create that tension Right, and just go nice and slow, three to five seconds up, three to five seconds down, okay? And making sure that this back knee, as you come down, nice soft touch, okay? Again, a really big mistake is that we'll lose tension in that last sort of, you know, inch or two of range of motion and let that knee just drop, okay? So again, we wanna create as much tension as possible and we want to control that range of motion uh, throughout the entire range, okay? So how this is gonna translate into a better lunge, so let's say you're reverse lunging, as I come back, as I step back, right, I have to stabilize on that lead leg, so that left foot. So I'm gonna stabilize here, step back. As soon as my toe touches the ground, I'm pulling the floor together. Pause, and then coming up, okay? Same thing as if I'm going to step forward into a forward lunge, okay? Stepping straight forward, as soon as that, that foot plants, pulling the floor and pulling myself down into position and coming back up, okay? So give that a shot. Again, three to, sec three to five seconds on the way up, three to five seconds on the way down in that static position, and then you can get a little bit more dynamic with it, and as you step back or step forward, as soon as that, that, that leading foot touches the ground, creating as much tension as possible. So you are going to be a lot more stable in that unilateral position, okay? Be radiating more tension, you're gonna own that position and you're gonna be able to lunge pain-free.